Why do we sleep? It's a difficult question to answer. We spend about a third of our lives asleep. That's 30 years for a person who lives to be 90, but nobody knows exactly why. Are we wasting our time lying in bed doing nothing when we could be doing something useful? Scientists don't think so. All mammals and birds sleep, even though while they sleep, they are easy prey for predators. Fish, reptiles, and insects rest too, so there must be a good reason. What are the scientific theories? When we sleep enough, we feel better and more energetic. It's easier to concentrate and make decisions. After a good night's sleep, we solve problems and think of new ideas better. We're generally healthier and happier. Scientists have developed several theories for why we sleep. Our bodies rebuild and replace energy we've used in the day. Muscle grows, tissue is repaired, and hormones, chemicals our bodies need, are produced while we're sleeping. Our brains recover from the day, store information, and process experiences and memories while we are asleep. Our brains also clear away anything we don't need to remember. What happens if we don't sleep? Without sleep, parts of our brains become inactive. We get confused and forget things. We can't concentrate. Tiredness, stress, and difficulty following directions are all results of not getting enough sleep. Also, lack of sleep weakens the immune system, so it can't fight illness very well and we may become sick. Why do we dream? When we sleep, we may have amazing adventures in our dreams that seem real. We all dream at night, but we don't always remember our dreams. Nobody really knows why we dream, but it might be part of organizing our memories and emotions. How is modern life affecting sleep patterns? Before the light bulb was invented, people usually went to bed when it was dark and got up when it was light. In today's world, We go to sleep about two hours later and get up two hours earlier than we used to. Technology has made it harder for us to sleep, so we are more tired. Looking at brightly lit screens before bed, whether they are TVs, cell phones, or computers, is making it harder for people to get to sleep and harder to wake up in the morning, too. Why can't I sleep sometimes? Worrying about something can keep us awake, but there may be several things keeping us from sleeping. Here are a few tips to help. Don't look at a screen just before bedtime. Sleep in a cool, dark, quiet room. Work out regularly, but not late in the evening. Don't eat junk food. Eat a healthy diet, but don't eat just before bed. Go to bed at the same time every night. Don't drink anything with caffeine in it, like soda, coffee, or tea, before bed. Am I getting enough sleep? Feeling sleepy or annoyed and having difficulty concentrating and making decisions are signs that we're not getting enough sleep. Most children need between 8 and 10 hours of sleep a night. Keeping a sleep diary, noting what time we go to bed, wake up, and how we feel during the day, can help us to find out whether we're getting enough sleep. Taking a daytime nap or a power nap can help boost energy for studying and playing. Along with water, food, and oxygen, we also need sleep in order to survive. So, falling asleep on the sofa in the middle of the day isn't really lazy. Don't feel bad. Instead, consider how much good it's really doing.